Hello and welcome to the Hatson Breaker 900X in a 2.2. Hatson, a Turkish gun company. They started making air rifles and shotguns in 1976. This gun is 112 centimeters long with a 46 centimeter barrel. Has a moderator at the front of that barrel, a silencer, and fiber optics too at the front and adjustable for windage and elevation at the rear. We we'll also have a standard 11mm scope rail. We have a scope creep lock and an auto and resettable safety. The stock is beach with no stippling on the main body but some there around the trigger. The trigger is two stage adjustable and you've got a very nice butt pad on the back of this ambidextrous buttstock. Today's pellets are going to be the dome spit fires. It didn't like any of the flats or, or pointed that I had, and these are the only domes I've got, but it did seem to like these. Not the best weather today, a bit wet, very cloudy, light's not great, but this should be my last video of the year due to conditions and I want to get a better camera and also you know, I've got some other projects that I want to do too but for today at 20 yards with the hats and breaker as you'd expect with any air gun really should be pretty good at this range and, and it was at 30 Three very, very tight group holes there, but also a couple of flyers. Might have been a bit of me, but I think also a bit of the gun, and obviously we are using budget pellets. And at 40, well, quite surprisingly still hanging around there, and I'm quite pleased with that, and we should be all right here with the tin cans. I'm shooting these I'm my, my feeling is, is I'm not really always hitting where I'm shooting I'm, I'm hitting the cans and and, and thus forth although I do miss one at the bottle at the end which is well criminal to be honest at this range uh, in comparison with my other guns but yeah I, I, you can tell that it's occasionally kicking one out and it, it does hamper my confidence a little bit uh, I'd also say the gun, even though it's three kilograms, which is pretty much an ideal weight for a gun, I, I think, around about that, it's a bit light and a tad light on the front, which isn't a big deal. There's a bit of kick as well, which I say is a bit more than normal, and it's just making it a tad uncomfortable, even though I'm hitting these, well, up until this last one. And my issues at 40 are, are quite similar. It's obviously further and we're on the deck so the kick's a bit exaggerated. But yeah, I just, just don't have the confidence I'm going to hit all of these. And in fact, I did a lot of shooting after this and I, I, I literally couldn't hit all of them in, in one go. So I, I always, always at least missed one and sometimes two. So, whilst this um, looks quite tidy, apart from the one I, I, I went under there, it again, you, you, you feel your either the gun's got to let in a bit or, or something's got to happen because, or maybe better pellets, which would really not make much sense considering you bought a budget gun and you want to put expensive pellets into it. But 
Yeah, it's. I, I feel like we're kind of out of range here. Okay, well, the 900X breaker um, by Hatson. Obviously, very cheap gun, at 100 pounds, uh, and a gun I actually did pay the full price for. Uh, this is the first time, and hopefully only time that I haven't bought a gun uh, in a sale. It has some faults, and it's also got a hell of a lot of good features on it. Um, I'd start with the silencer, which particularly see the point of a silencer on a brake barrel especially as the sound is pretty much coming all from the spring but still it's nice to have something like that on, on such a budgety gun too um, the sound itself is a bit a husky twang I suppose uh, it's above average in terms of noise level in relation to my other guns it's not terrible it's not a terrible sound but it's certainly not the best sound in air rifle I've got um, the, the auto safety never let me down and th and that's that's a very nice position for it to be as well I quite liked that don't really care about safeties too much but as this goes this was quite a nice position to use and you just get muscle memory of turning it off and on uh, the balance of the gun is for me I thought it was a bit light at the front but it's a small complaint it's a bit like the Beeman I suppose it's not too bad and you'd probably get used to it if you use this gun the whole time and, and wouldn't even think about it. So it's, I'm, I'm not really making a big complaint about that. It shoulders very well. There's a nice long length along the buttstock, uh, which, yeah, you don't feel cramped or anything like that. And it's nice in the shoulder. It's quite, quite a comfortable gun to shoot. The trigger is two-stage adjustable. Tiny bit of creep, but... It's actually a very nice trigger. <laughs> I, I quite like it. I mean, I guess if you were target shooting or hunting or something like that, you might want something better than this. You, you probably definitely would. But for, for me, for blinking and stuff like that, it was, it was a very pleasant trigger. Uh, quite surprised with the trigger, actually. Uh, the thing I didn't like with the gun is it did kick a bit. I'd say that was above average kick. And the accuracy past 25 yards was a bit circumspect. I suppose the way I would describe this gun is pellet sensitive. It just seems to need perfect pellets all the time. It would be accurate, 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 and then throw one, and for no apparent reason. And you saw that on the video uh, when I was doing the 30 and the 40. I mean, on the 30, I missed a bottle. And I know that wasn't me. I, I was perfectly on the shot. It just threw it. Um, so that is happening. And yeah, it would be a miss of me not to mention that because it happened a lot. I did a lot of shooting uh, with targets and with tin cans and bottles after I did the filming for this, which you, you've just seen, and it didn't really improve. And that's why I did it. I thought, well, I'll give this gun a chance. You know, I saw what the synergy did, where it kind of got better as the day went on, and this just didn't seem to really improve. It was doing what it did at the beginning of the day. In terms of power, that did go up a tiny bit, but not much. It was about 10, 6, 10, 7 foot pound. So much lower than reported in some other reviews and certainly how they're advertising the gun. I've also seen some people say it's as low as 10 for them. So maybe there is a bit of variation from the power you get from the gun. Uh, but for me, it was 10, 7. Um, Yes, I mean, it's impossible not to recommend. The build quality on the gun is, is fantastic. It obviously looks good. It's just got loads of nice trimmings to it. They put some work into this gun, and I think if you was to buy this gun for a 20, 25-yard plinking shoot, you'll be delighted with this gun. It really is good. Anything past that, yeah, there's better guns, basically, that are more accurate at a longer range. But... So yeah, a casual little plank um, with some budget pellets at 20 yards, you're not going to do any better than this for the money.